Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Happy Wednesday. <clears throat> Hi, guys. It is me, your minister, Queen Aja, and this is my ministry, Beauty for Ashes, Kingdom of Heaven, Royal Ministries. I pray that you guys are having a blessed Wednesday. Hallelujah. I pray the favor, the blessing, the healing, the prosperity of the Lord over your life. Hallelujah. I thank God for our lord and savior jesus christ hallelujah i thank god for his holy spirit hallelujah leading and guiding us and helping us hallelujah as we go through our journey hallelujah in this earth hallelujah as we go to through our journey hallelujah of righteousness of holiness hallelujah of healthy living hallelujah of positive living hallelujah of righteous living hallelujah so that our life can be pleasing and acceptable unto our heavenly father hallelujah how you guys doing it is me your minister queen aja did i already say that if not i'm saying it again hallelujah it is me your minister queen aja and welcome again to my ministry beauty for ashes kingdom of heaven royal ministries so you guys today i'm going to be coming out of the book of jonah hallelujah praise the lord everyone praise the lord so i'm going to be coming out of the book of jonah let me tell y'all something. God has a great word for you today. He really does. He has a great word. God got a great word for us every day. Hallelujah. But let me tell you something. I've read this uh, chapter about Jonah several, several, several times. Hallelujah. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you how good God is. It doesn't matter how much you read the word of God or how many times you've read something. Every time you read it, God will reveal something else out of the scripture he will reveal, uh, reveal something new out of a scripture that you have read millions of times hallelujah every time you read it, it he will he will reveal something new through that scripture hallelujah that you have never thought about before that you have never um that has never even came um to your spirit hallelujah that's how our God works. Hallelujah. Because his mysteries. Hallelujah. He has mysteries beyond, hallelujah, this earth. Hallelujah. He has mysteries that goes beyond, hallelujah, what we see. So each and every time we read the word of God, hallelujah, God will reveal more to us through a word that we probably have read several times but we haven't really caught the revelation of it hallelujah so this is how god works and this is how our god is every time god just reveals himself more and more hallelujah he shows you more of him hallelujah he teaches you more about him hallelujah more than you thought you knew hallelujah hallelujah let me tell you something we can never know all of god because he's it's just too much of him hallelujah we can't even contain hallelujah god like that so he breaks itself down to us in portions. Hallelujah. He reveals himself to us. Hallelujah. In different levels of our lives. Hallelujah. So as we grow, hallelujah, in the Lord, hallelujah, our understanding and our wisdom and our knowledge of him will grow even more too. Hallelujah. So I just thank God for his revelation knowledge and giving us discernment and understanding of his word as the Holy Spirit helps us rightfully divide this word. Hallelujah. And to rightfully understand this word. And as we are taught the word, hallelujah, we are also doing hallelujah the word. We're not just reading the word and just hearing the word, but we are actually doing the word in the name of Jesus and living by it in the name of Jesus. So like I said, I'm going to be coming out of the book of Jonah. Hallelujah. And um, I'm going to start from the first chapter. Hallelujah. So before I begin, I'm going to open up in prayer. Father God, I thank you for your day for this day for this is the day that the lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it i thank you for every ear father god every eye hallelujah that hears hallelujah and receives your word lord god i thank you father god for prosperity lord god and as I prosper, Lord God, that my soul will prosper. And as your people prosper, that their souls will prosper, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for giving us heavenly wisdom and knowledge, Lord, and discernment and understanding as we go forth, Father God. I thank you for giving us the spirit of obedience, Lord. The spirit, Father God, of our heavenly Father, the spirit in the mind of Christ, Father God, so that we will be led into the path of righteousness, Lord God, leaning not to our own understanding, but in all our ways that we will, hallelujah, 
that in all our ways that we will acknowledge you, Father God, and you will direct our path in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father God, for healing, Lord God, healing, Lord God, anything and all things that are broken in us, Lord God. I thank you for forgiveness of our sins, Lord. I thank you for your grace and your mercy, Lord. And I thank you that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And as I decrease, I thank you that my Holy Spirit will increase in me, Lord God, that I am your vessel, your servant, your ambassador to speak your word, Lord God. And I give you all the praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, so we're coming out the book of Jonah. Hallelujah. I was going to read the whole chapter of Jonah because it's Jonah is a short book in the Bible. Hallelujah. So I'm just going to let the Holy Spirit lead me. Hallelujah. And I'm going to just flow with the Spirit. And when he's ready to stop, that's when I'm going to stop. Hallelujah. So God is good in the name of Jesus. So we're in the book of Jonah, chapter 1. And the word of God reads, now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness is come up before me. Hallelujah. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord and went down to Joppa, and he found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid the fare thereof and went down into it to go with them into Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. So here, hallelujah, Jonah was a prophet, a servant of God. Hallelujah. And the Lord gave him a word. Hallelujah. And he gave him a commandment and told him, hey, go cry out against the city of Hallelujah, Nineveh, hallelujah, because their wickedness, their unrighteousness, all the things that they are doing, hallelujah, eh, I'm going to punish them for, hallelujah, but I want you to go and warn them and let them know, hallelujah, what's about to happen, hallelujah, but Jonah didn't want to do it, Jonah said, mm, I don't think I'm going to do that, so what I'm going to do, hallelujah, and let me tell you something, when God tell you to do something, not I, all the time we not go sometimes we question is it god hallelujah we question so god gives us confirmation but i believe here hallelujah that jonah knew that this that god was speaking to him hallelujah jonah knew hallelujah that god had called him to go speak against the uh city of nineveh and jonah knew hallelujah the end result hallelujah if he did this that these people might repent. And I believe in his heart, he knew that. So he said, I'm not going to do that. You know, because I think Jonah had some type of animosity against the children, against the city of Nineveh. Hallelujah. Because he, he, de he deliberately disobeyed God. Hallelujah. He deliberately disobeyed God. Hallelujah. So this is what's happening. So it says in verse three, but Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord and went down to Joppa and he found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid the fare thereof and went down into it to go with them unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. So look at why did Jonah think he could hide from God? Hmm. Ain't that crazy? We think we doing things and God don't know nothing about it. You know, you really think we you can hide from God? Don't you know the night is like the day to God? There, Everything is light to God. God is light. So there's nothing you can hide from him. He sees all. He knows all. Hallelujah. So this had tickled me when I read this again. Because I was like, Jonah really thought he was going to hide from the Lord. You know? But let's move on. Verse 4. But the Lord sent out a great wind into the sea. And there was a mighty tempest in the sea, so that the ship was like to be broken. Check this out. Then the mariners were afraid. I think those are mariners. I think that's what that word is, okay? The mariners, okay? I believe that's what that word is. So let me re re read that again. Then the, then the mariners were afraid and cried every man unto his God. 
and cast forth the wares that were in the ship into the sea to lighten it of to lighten it of them but jonah was gone down into the sides of the ship and he lay and was fast asleep ain't that ain't that how troublemakers do jonah started all this jonah started all this trouble because he thought he was gonna hide from the lord okay he took it upon himself hallelujah to be disobedient hallelujah and to go somewhere where the Lord did not tell him to go. Hallelujah. So he paid the fare to go somewhere where he was not supposed to be. Hallelujah. And then once the trouble came upon the ship, hallelujah, what he doing? Sleeping. Sleeping. Why everybody else is afraid for their life. Why everybody else on their knees praying to their God, hallelujah, to save their life. He down there knocked out sleep. Like, ain't nothing going on. See, this ain't this how God work? See, when God call you to do something, and you go put yourself somewhere where you ain't supposed to be, not only will you get reprimanded for it, but other people are going to suffer. Other people are going to suffer for your disobedience. These people had nothing to do with Jonah. These people didn't even know what was going on. They did not know that Jonah was running from the presence of the Lord. But guess what? They lives were in danger because of his disobedience. Because he wanted to run from God, he put other people's lives in danger. Hallelujah. These people were crying out because they were about to die. Because the wind, hallelujah, was blowing back and forth. See, really they wasn't going to die because God was not going to allow that to happen. Because God is, God is so powerful and he knows all. Hallelujah. But he had to do something, hallelujah, to get Jonah back and t back to where he's supposed to be. Hallelujah. So he allowed this um, storm to come in and uh, allowed these waves, hallelujah, to come in so strong in the ocean, hallelujah, that it beat up against the ship like it was about to destroy the ship. And that's what it was doing. Hallelujah. So let's continue reading. And verse six. So the shipmasters came to him and said, let me read verse uh, five again. So it says, then the mariners were afraid and cried every man unto his God and cast forth the wares that were in the ship into the sea to lighten it of them. But Jonah was gone down into the sides of the ship and he lay and was fast asleep. Hallelujah. And verse six. So the shipmaster came to him and said unto him, What meanest thou, O sleeper? Arise, call upon thy God. If so be that God will think upon us that we perish not. See, they knew. They knew they was like, look, everybody else is calling on a God. They call him whoever, whatever God they praise, whatever God they worship. They call it on a God and ain't nothing happening. So you, you out here sleeping, call on your God. Call on your God because maybe your God can help us. You know what I'm saying? So verse um, seven, and they said everyone to his fellow, come and let us cast lots that we may know for whose cause this evil is upon us. So they cast lots and the lot fell upon Jonah. Look at that. Look, they was like, look, something ain't right here. Something ain't right here. This got to be something somebody up in here has brought something that ain't supposed to be here so they decide they like look we have to cast out these lots we have to cast out the lot and whoever the lot fall on that's the prop that's the person causing the pot the problem that's the person that's bringing all the trouble up in here so they cast out the lots hallelujah and look what happened verse 8 then said they unto him tell us we pray thee for who caused this evil is upon us? What is thine occupation? Hallelujah. See, now they want to know who you, who are you? Who are you? What do you do? Where do you come from? Hallelujah. That all this trouble has come upon us because of you. Who are you? So this is what they said. They said, what is thine occupation? And whence comest thou? What is thy country? And of what people art thou? Look it, look it. Because they know. They know God don't play about his people. God don't play about his children. Hallelujah. They already know. Hey, who are you? Where you come from? 
Who is your God? Check this out, verse 9. And he said unto them, I am an Hebrew, and I fear the Lord, the God of heaven, which hath made the sea and the dry land. Hallelujah. Look, they knew they was in trouble then. They knew they was in trouble. As soon as he said he was a Hebrew, they already knew. What? What? You one of them? You an Israelite? Oh, my God. They already knew when he said he was a Hebrew who, what God he served. Hallelujah. They already knew, hallelujah, where he come from. They already knew, hallelujah, what they was dealing with. Hallelujah. Then verse 10, it says, Then were the men exceedingly afraid, didn't I tell you? Because they already knew. And said unto him, Why hast thou done this? For the men knew that he fled from the presence of the Lord because he had told them. Then said they unto him, What shall we do unto thee, that the sea may be calm unto us? For the sea wroth and was temptuous. So they was like, what, what, what can we do? How, what, what is it that we have to do, hallelujah, for this trouble to cease from us? Hallelujah. What do we need to do? Hallelujah. So this is what happened in verse 12. And he said unto them, take me up and cast me forth into the sea. So shall the sea be calm unto you. For I know that for my sake, this great tempest is upon you. Hallelujah. See, Jonah knew he was the cause of the trouble. Jonah already knew. He was like, look, I call myself running from the Lord, knowing that I can't run from the Lord, but I did it anyway. And now all this trouble have come upon these people. Hallelujah. And I know the only way to calm this sea is for them to throw me in it because this is my fault. Hallelujah. Look, this is the thought of the mindset of Jonah. Hallelujah. Because he know, he know, hallelujah. He know how God works and he know who God is. And he knew he was the cause of the trouble. Hallelujah. So verse um, 12, I'm going to read verse 12 again. It says, and he said unto them, Take me up and cast me forth into the sea. So shall the sea be come unto you. For I know that for my sake, this great tempest, tempest is upon you. Nevertheless, the men rode hard to bring it to the land, but they could not. See, they didn't want to throw him into the sea because they knew if they threw him into the sea, they would probably kill him. They knew that. They were like, nah, we ain't doing that. And you were serving of the Lord? Oh, no, nah. in the sea, I mean, they the sea already acting up because you up in here. Now, if we throw you in here, this going to fall on us. So they was like, nah, we we finna see if we can get this, this ship to the land. They did not want to do that. But look at God. Hallelujah. It says in verse um, 14, I'm going to read verse 13 again. It says, nevertheless, the men rode hard to bring it to the land, but they could not. For the sea rocked and was temptuous against them. Hallelujah. They was like, nah. The sea was like, see, let me tell you something. God, everything belongs to the Lord. Every creation. The sea, the water was being obedient. See, the, the Lord called the water. Hallelujah. He called this great um, storm to come. Hallelujah. And even as they rode and rode and tried to bring the um, ship to land, it got even... It got even harder for them because they was like, nah. The sea was like, no, no, we not finna, we've not finna allow you to go no further. Hallelujah. Because you got somebody on that ship that ain't supposed to be there. Hallelujah. So verse 14, it says, Wherefore they cried unto the Lord and said, We beseech thee, O Lord, we beseech thee, let us not perish for this man's life hallelujah see they crying and, and praying to god because they knew hallelujah that they had no choice but to throw him in the sea because when he asked them they was like nah that's gonna we, that's gonna we're gonna take your life if we do that so they can see themselves doing that but the sea got even more harder it got even more um uh, the, the storm got even more stronger for them so they couldn't so they had to pray to god and say lord forgive us 
for us throwing this man into the sea because this is the only way that we're going to be able to save our life. Hallelujah. So it says, hallelujah. I'm going to reverse uh, fortune again. It says, wherefore they cried unto the Lord and said, we beseech thee, O Lord, we beseech thee, let us not perish for this man's life and lay not upon us innocent blood for thou, O Lord, has done as it pleased thee. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And then verse 15. So they took up Jonah and cast him forth into the sea. And the sea ceased from her raging. Hallelujah. You see, because you can't play with God. There's nowhere in this earth. That you're going to be able to run to escape God's presence when he has called you to do something for him. Hallelujah. God going to put you in a predicament. Hallelujah. Where you ain't got no choice. Hallelujah. Where you can't go nowhere. Hallelujah. He going to put you in a predicament. Hallelujah. Where people going to cast you away from them. They going to be like, uh-uh, get away from us. Hallelujah. Get away from us because you causing pain to us because of your disobedience to the father, to your father. Hallelujah. So that's what God will do. He'll put you in a situation where people will cast you out because you have been disobedient to what he has called you to do and where he has told you to go. Hallelujah. So this is what happened. So it says, verse 15, so they took up Jonah and cast him forth into the sea and the sea ceased from her raging. So the sea, so the sea was calm. No more raging, no more storm. Everything was calm because guess what? Jonah was no longer in that boat he's now in the sea he's no longer hallelujah in a position where others could be affected by his wrongdoing hallelujah so the sea was calm in the name of jesus hallelujah so they were no longer in fear for their life hallelujah they were no longer hallelujah um in danger hallelujah because the one that god wanted hallelujah was cast into the sea so god's like okay now y'all could go on about y'all business okay because i'm then i'm not here for you guys i'm here for him hallelujah so god come to come to see and they were able to continue on hallelujah with wherever they were going and doing whatever they were doing because god didn't want them he wanted jonah hallelujah so it says in verse 16 then the men feared the lord exceedingly and offered a sacrifice unto the Lord and, and made vows. Hallelujah. So they knew. They said, oh my God. This, this, this man serves the king of kings. said the Lord of lords. This man serves the God of heaven and earth. So they became fearful of God. They have fear of God now. Hallelujah. And so we don't even know. And when the Lord showed me this. I said, Lord, this also was a deliverance for them too. They did not know because when they were able to see God wondrous works and how the sea was calmed and how their life was spared, hallelujah, they began to send, give God praises and sacrifices to God and they made a vow to God because they knew that he was God, hallelujah. So even in that storm, hallelujah, they were able to be saved, hallelujah. They, hallelujah, were able to be delivered, hallelujah. And because of that, hallelujah, they got, I believe they gave their life to God, hallelujah. It says, then the men feared the Lord exceedingly and offered a sacrifice unto the Lord and made vows, hallelujah. Because God delivered them from trouble. He delivered them from the hands of death hallelujah he delivered them from the raging sea hallelujah and they knew this was the true god this was the only god hallelujah so they made vows to him hallelujah and they feared the lord hallelujah and i'm gonna read verse 17 it says now the lord had prepared a great fish to swallow up jonah and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. See, let me tell you something. See, Jonah thought he was about to die. 
Let me tell you something. When they threw Jonah in that sea, Jonah knew he was about to die. Let me tell you something. But look at God. God said, I didn't cause this storm. I didn't cause this raging sea. I didn't cause for you to get cast into the sea for your, for your life to be taken from you. This, hallelujah, is so I can get your attention. Hallelujah. So now you gotta, so now you ain't got nowhere to go. So what did God do to preserve his life and save his life? God had already prepared a fish that was going to take Jonah in. That was going to, the fish wasn't there to eat Jonah up and to kill Jonah. He was there to swallow him in. Hallelujah. He was there actually to protect him because Jonah would have died in that water. Hallelujah. Because not having no oxygen and all that water going inside his um, body. Hallelujah. He wouldn't have been able to survive going in that deep ocean. So God prepared prepared a fish to swallow him. And inside the fish, hallelujah, he was able to live for three days and three nights. And he was able to call on the Lord God while he was inside the belly of that fish. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the word of God was telling me, hallelujah, he said, when God has a calling for you, when God has a calling on your life in the name of Jesus, many of us, hallelujah, many of us are called by God, hallelujah. But because of, hallelujah, we're not sure of the calling and we don't really know how to walk in the calling and we don't understand it, we run from it. We're afraid of it because we don't know how people are going to react to us, how people are going to receive us. But that's not our job to be concerned about. Our job and our purpose is to do what God has called us to do, to be obedient. Because when you're not obedient, hallelujah, the things will come against you, hallelujah. People will have to cast you out, hallelujah. And you will have to find yourself in the place, hallelujah, where you are fighting for your life. Or where you feel like your life is at its wit's end. And you're going to have to cry out to the Lord. Hallelujah. You're going to have to get yourself in alignment with God. Hallelujah. So let's read verse um, chapter 2. Okay. Verse 1. Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God out of the fish's belly. Hallelujah. And said, I cry by reason of mine affliction unto the Lord. And he heard me out of the belly of hell cried I, and thou heardest my voice. See, ain't nowhere you could go. Even if you, look what did David said? If I go up to heaven, you're there. If I go down to the depths of hell, you are there. There is nowhere you can go that God is not because God is everywhere. Hallelujah. <laughs> Excuse me. God is everywhere. So there's nowhere you can go in this earth that God won't be there. God got eyes all over. Hallelujah. Verse 3. Chapter 2, verse 3. For thou hadst cast me into the deep, in the midst of the seas, and the floods compassed me about. All thy bellows and thy waves passed over me. So Jonah is telling you what happened to him while he was in that sea. Hallelujah. And it says, then I said, I am cast out of thy sight. Yet I will look again toward thy holy temple. Ain't that what we do? Ain't that what we do when we think God has just cast us out? God has just forsaken us. Hallelujah. When we at our wits end. Hallelujah. When we feel like we can't go no more, hallelujah, like death is knocking on our door, then what we do? We call on God. We call on our Father, hallelujah. Those who know him and those who know to call on him, they call on their Father God, hallelujah. And what it says, it says, Then I said, I am cast out of thy sight, yet I will look again toward thy holy temple because he knew how merciful God was. He knew how good God was. So he knew yet again, hallelujah, I'm going to call out to you. I'm going to look to you. Hallelujah. The waters, okay. Sorry about that, child. 
Sorry about that. I'm in verse five, okay? The waters can pass me about, even to the soul. The depths closed me round about. The weeds were wrapped upon, I'm sorry, the weeds were wrapped about my head. Hallelujah. I went down to the bottom of the mountains. The earth with her bars was about me forever. Yet has thou brought up my life from corruption, O Lord my God. See, Jordan, he knew he was about to die. Okay, he knew it was over. But even in that, he was able to pray. Even in that, he was able to pray in the belly of that well. Hallelujah. Even in that, he was able to pray to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In verse um, 7, it says, When my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord. And my prayer came in unto thee, into thine holy temple. They that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercies. But I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving. I will pay that that I have vowed. Hallelujah. Salvation is of the Lord. In verse 10. And the Lord spake unto the fish, and it vomited out Jonah upon the dry land. Hallelujah. So this, you see what I'm saying? See, what the Lord is trying to explain to us and let us understand that there is consequences and repercussions for our disobedience. Hallelujah. Especially when you are a servant of the Lord. Hallelujah. See, it's more severe for us because we know God. We know God how God works. We know how God, when he tells us to do something, we know as his servants, we are to do the will of God because that is our job. That is our occupation. Hallelujah. That is our purpose. So when we as servants disobey God, the punishment, it won't only affect us, but it will affect the people around us. See, Jonah's disobedience was not only going to cause him hallelujah, to suffer, but it was causing the other people around him to suffer. So it's important, hallelujah, that you align yourself with God's will and with his, and with his word and you do the word. That's why I say it's, it's not enough to just go to church and listen and hear your pastor talk about the word of God and preach to you the word of God, but it's up to you to go home and read this word yourself. And it's up to you, hallelujah, to understand what God is saying to you, hallelujah, because God has a calling over your life. God has a purpose for you. You are also a servant of God, hallelujah, whether you know it or not. We are all here to do a service for the Lord. We are all created for his glory. So when we go against God's word and we go against God's um, laws and commandments, hallelujah, not only does it interfere with you, it interferes with other people, hallelujah. Other people, hallelujah, are affected by your disobedience, by our disobedience when we disobey God, hallelujah. So this word, hallelujah, is another word to get you and to get us in alignment with God's will, hallelujah and to do what God has called us to do. Hallelujah. When God tell you to go somewhere, go. When God tell you to say something, say it. When God tells you to do something, do it. Hallelujah. You can't be afraid of what how people going to react or what people going to say or what people think. You can't control people. All you can do is what God has called you to do. God to take care of that. Everything else, got to take care of that. All you have to do is be obedient and follow the instructions of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because if you don't trust and believe, God got a fish somewhere waiting for you. Hallelujah. God got a fish somewhere waiting to swallow you up. Hallelujah. You guys got to get it. You guys got to get the understanding. Hallelujah. Because God just don't want us. Hallelujah. Out here being ignorant. Hallelujah. He don't want us out here just living a life. 
hallelujah, that is not pleasing in an accepting it, that is not pleasing and acceptable to him. Because he has called us to righteousness. He has called us to obedience. Hallelujah. He has called us to be his servants. Hallelujah. So we have to lead by example. Hallelujah. We have to lead by an example. Not just hallelujah for the body of Christ, but for our children. Hallelujah. For others, hallelujah, who are going to come in contact with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because just as good as God blesses us, there's also a curse that will come upon us too when we are disobedient. And this is what this walk is about. Hallelujah. It's about obeying God. Hallelujah. It's about, it's about when you make a vow to the Lord that you, hallelujah, that you um, perform the vow that you made to him, that you keep it. Hallelujah. God don't take these things lightly. He would rather you not make a vow at all. Hallelujah. If you're going to break it. But when you make a vow unto the Lord, you best believe he going to make sure you stick to it. Hallelujah. Because once it go out in the, in the earth, once these words, hallelujah, come out your mouth. Hallelujah. It goes out into the earth. Hallelujah. And, it's, and seeds are planted. Hallelujah. That's why you reap what you sow. That's why you have karma. Hallelujah. That's why what you give out, you get back. Hallelujah. Because once you speak it, it goes out into the earth. Hallelujah. Once you decree and declare a thing, it shall come to pass. And if it doesn't come to pass, it's because, of, it's because it was something that was not of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It was something that was not God's purpose or plan for your life. A lot of these things we have, we, we, a lot of the things we have put out in the universe, hallelujah, not knowing that it was more harming for us than good. But God knew, hallelujah, the repercussions of it. So he didn't allow it to happen because of his grace and his mercy and his love for you. So many things, hallelujah, God has kept us from. Because of our ignorance, us not knowing. Don't you understand when you speak something out in the earth, hallelujah, when you speak curses, those curses is going to come back to you, hallelujah. So you got to be watchful of what you say and what come out your mouth. You got to be watchful of what you hear and what goes into your ears. You got to be watchful of what you see and goes to your eyes because these are portals, hallelujah. These are the portals that the enemy uses. These are the, this is what God uses, Hallelujah, for us to pull down, hallelujah. When we pulling down strongholds and break down and we casting out demons, our mouth, hallelujah, it works the same way to bless someone and it works the same way to curse someone. Hallelujah. But you got to be careful what you're doing because it's going to come back on you, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you guys be blessed. That's the word of God for today. I was going to go um, further into um, the book of Jonah, but because of time purposes, I will continue this. Hallelujah. We're going to continue this lesson. So just know that we are in the book of Jonah right now. Hallelujah. And this is the first part. There's another part that the Lord gave me a revelation to. Hallelujah. In this same book. And I will get back to that in our next lesson in the name of Jesus. So you guys be blessed. I thank God for you. Hallelujah. And I pray, hallelujah, that this word has blessed you. Hallelujah. And I thank God for your salvation. I thank God for your deliverance. I thank God that you have repented and you have re accepted our Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. Hallelujah. And from this day forth, you are the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus. And you will live and walk by faith in the name of Jesus. And you will become all that God has called you to do as his servants, as his ambassadors. Hallelujah. As his children hallelujah and his true heirs of the kingdom of heaven you guys be blessed it is me your minister queen asia this is my ministry beauty for ashes kingdom of heaven royal ministries remember to all my youtubers to like share subscribe to the page and to all my facebook family remember to like share and leave a comment i love you guys and god willing i will see you sooner than later Mwah. be blessed everyone